Bryant declares a state of emergency after floods damage homes, businesses, and wash out roads. WJTV 12's Gerald Harris is live from the newsroom with the latest storm reports and impacts. Gerald? Jade, Governor Phil Bryant declared yet another state of emergency because of severe flooding with recent storms. Governor Phil Bryant signed the latest emergency declaration. He said first responders in MEMA are working to add up the damage from the vast amount of flooding. Throughout this week, central Mississippi was hit with near constant rain causing flash flooding. We were just inside the salon and we was doing the hair up in my other stylus and all of a sudden about 10, 15, water just started gushing into the building. Jeffrey Ross is the owner of Hair Explosion on Highway 80. He is just one of many of the recent flood victims across the metro. This had never happened before. Experts say one way to be prepared for flooding is to get proper insurance. Make sure if you're in, even if you're in a low level flood, mid level, or high risk area, make sure that you've got the coverage needed in the event that you are flooded because when it happens, it, it, it can be devastating. Much of Mississippi experienced at least four days of rainfall. In many areas, water rescues took place. This culminates with Mississippi already dealing with flooding from the Mississippi River. Jackson usually sees around 21 inches up to this point of the year. So far, we've exceeded that with 28 inches of rain. This month alone, we are experiencing six inches of rain compared to the normal inch and a half. After emergency declaration assessments are done, it will be reported to FEMA and the president to see if any federal funds are available. As always, if you have experienced any flooding caused by the recent storms, you are encouraged to reach out to your local emergency management to see if you qualify for any assistance. Jade.